Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Cooking with Sandy. So you know what I want to try to make tonight is one of my all time favorites is fish and chips. Now how am I going to make a vegan fish and chips? Well, easy. I'm going to use my good old friend tofu here. And for those of you that say you don't like tofu or that it's bad for me or whatever, shh, give tofu a chance, okay? Don't be mean to the tofu. Now, what I'm doing tonight is I'm gonna combine a couple different recipes that I've seen on the internet and stuff, and I'm just kind of making my own. So it's like bits and pieces of recipes that I've seen. So let's just hope that it's good. And one thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this nori paper. Never used that before. So these, this is what we're gonna need. We're gonna need that, the tofu, some fresh squeezed lemon, um, some non-dairy milk, and then a bunch of spices, and what am I using, cornmeal, and some flour. So let's get started. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my extra firm tofu, make sure it's extra firm, because that's the way we like it, and I'm going to slice it up, and then I like to pat it with paper towel and get all the moisture out of it, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. Let's watch, shall we? Um, let's see, I'll cut it like this. I don't know how much to make. I'm only just using one block because if I don't like it and it turns out terrible, then <laughs> I won't have a whole bunch. So I think four pieces, that should be good, right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this sort of batter thing. Oh, but you know what I almost forgot? Was the nori paper. Okay, so this is what I saw. Watch this. Okay, so what I've done is I cut the nori paper into slices the same size as the tofu and I put the rough side down and then I kind of patted it down. The next thing I'm gonna do is take some lemon and I'm going to squeeze it, whoop, squeeze it over top and that is supposed to make it stick better and also give it that like fish and chippy kind of taste, right? Okay, so we've got that going. Now let's make the coating, batter, whatever we're gonna do there. So the next thing I'm gonna do before I make the batter, or is coating or whatever, is I'm gonna put one cup of high heat oil um, to get it hot. <laughs> okay, now I'm sure you guys are all gonna tell me if I'm using the right oil or wrong oil. I'm using canola oil. I have no clue, I have no clue. Because up until now, I have cooked everything with olive oil, everything. And people are like, what, what? So we are putting that in a pan. Yes, I know, I don't have a cast iron pan. This is just gonna have to do for now. So I'm gonna put that on a high heat, get it nice and hot, and we're gonna make the coating right now. So for the non-dairy milk, I'm just using um, uh, organic almond milk, and you gotta make sure that you get non-flavored, like don't get vanilla or anything, and non-sweetened, okay? So I'm just going to put a quarter of a cup of that in one of my little mixing bowl things here for my little station of filet fish here and then my next thing I've got to get my ingredients for the coating hey and for those of you wanting to know what's going on with my hair we would all like to know what's going on with my hair right now I'm trying to grow it out I don't know what I'm doing okay side note um, okay so what we're gonna do is a half a cup of cornmeal so we're getting the cornmeal here, half a cup of that, um, half a cup of flour. Now I guess you could probably use any kind of flour that you want. I'm just going to use regular flour. And let's put some spices in there too, shall we? Oh, I guess I should be showing you what I'm doing. What I'm doing is making a mess. Um, a tablespoon of dried basil, a tablespoon of dried basil. Um, tablespoon of garlic powder. Oh, this is onion powder. I uh, uh, uh. really hate when it gets crusty like that. Okay, onion powder. Put a little bit more in there. And a tablespoon of garlic powder. But I must be moving on. Okay, and then I guess like just some salt and pepper. Um, it said to use sea salt. You know, I don't have any, so we are going to go with this. Now, um, whisk, I don't know, is this whisking it? Uh, <laughs> it's whisking something. Okay, so we're gonna get that ready and then we're gonna start to do the fish, okay? The full fish. 
Okay, so I'm a little nervous now, but let's get on with it, shall we? So I've got my uh, tofu with the nori uh, paper on it with the lemon. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dip that in some milk, some of the uh, non-dairy milk. And then, oh, it did kind of stick on there, right? Okay, I was kind of worried about that. And then we're just going to coat it really well with the little breading mixture I made up. And let's throw it in the pan. Now let's see the action happen. Ooh, ooh, okay, let's take a look at that, shall we? That looks good. Okay, it said to only do it for three minutes on each side, so I better get my ass in gear here. Okay. Okay, that one broke up a little bit there. Why? I will be lucky if I get out of this alive. Okay, so, so far, I think that that looks yum, yum. In the meantime, I'm gonna make some homemade tartar sauce. Now, it's not gonna be too, <laughs> I don't even know, I've never made it before, but let's give it a go, shall we? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use just mayo. This is vegan mayonnaise. I've never tried it before. I bought it at Walmart across the river. Um, I've tried their other products and they're amazing, so I'm gonna put some of that in, like half a cup. And then some Vlasic dills because these are my favorite, you guys. I don't like relish. I know most people put relish probably in tartar sauce, but I don't know. Like my Vlasic pickles. I'm going to put a little bit of lemon and a little packet of sugar and let's see how it goes. Okay, so I'm just going to, I just cut up my pickles into like little chunks and I don't know really, but I think it's going to be good. Throw some lemon juice in there and my little bit of stolen sugar. Where did I get this sugar? I don't even know. Okay, so we're just gonna mix that up and then we will have our tartar sauce. And my fries are in the oven, so we're almost good to go. It's more than a feeling. Okay, but seriously, how good does this look? I am really hoping that it tastes as good as it looks because it looks delish. And as you guys all know, I never try out my things before <laughs> um, I film them because I just want to try it new, brand new. And like this is kind of a homemade, made up recipe, sort of steal some other people's recipe. So I put a little bit of the tartar sauce on it and let's give it a try. Mm. Mm hmm mm hmm It is really good. Okay, so I'm glad I put the nori paper stuff on there because that does give it like the fish-like taste and uh, the lemon as well. Um, the tartar sauce makes it amazing, so I highly recommend the tartar sauce. This would be really good too for like fish tacos or like a fish burger or something like that. Um, yum yum so I highly recommend it I know there were other recipes too to like for uh, deep fried batter and stuff I wasn't sure like I'm a little scared <laughs> a little scared in the kitchen as you might understand but um, yeah if you have any suggestions or tips for me or comments on this video please let me know and I hope you try it or give me suggestions on your uh, faux fish recipe so have yourselves an awesome night thanks Mwah.